Hey Sasquad, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering a spicy combo that me and a couple friends threw together for VGC 2021. So this set, this team is primarily focused around this Spectrier and Amistar synergy. And also I guess Spectrier in general is just the kind of MVP of this team. But the idea of this gimmick is Weak Armor, Weakness Policy, Amistar, and we use Spectrier with Double Kick to set up a plus 4 speed and activate Weakness Policy as well. So we'll be at minus 2 defense, plus 2 special attack and attack, and plus 4 speed. Um, this is, team has been a lot of fun to run. This is probably the third iteration of this team, and probably could still use some um, tweaks here and there, but... I wanted to show a bunch of battles that I did on my stream today and share the team code of the current version of the team if you want to try it out yourself. But I hope you guys enjoy these battles. Okay, so ignore me here in the corner. This is just from my stream. So this first team we're facing is kind of spicy, but we were kind of fearing Reggie Lecky, Reggie Draco. But part of me just kind of felt like yo balls to the walls let's just try the gimmick right off the bat so they lead me in Xiao and Nwoyvern and we were thinking I was thinking uh, we were definitely gonna see Telwin but my what I was thinking was we were gonna see potentially like a fake out here from Yen Xiao or a high jump kick even into Amistar but I took the risky play and I decided to run the gimmick so we D-Max with our Amistar we're going to use a double kick on our own Amistar to trigger our weakness policy and our weak armor twice. Which ends up putting us at minus 2 defense, plus 4 speed, and then plus 2 special attack. Um, it does raise our attack too, but it doesn't matter because we're not running anything physically offensive on this Amistar. So we actually are going to target Noivern, knowing that we're going to outspeed before they can get a uh, Tailwind off. We completely one-shot Noivern. We were thinking maybe it could have been Sash, so we went for the max Hellstorm. I mean, that's generally the better play, but we wanted to make sure we not we broke the Sash on Mian Shao or Noivern. So they end up actually using Taunt, thinking this is a Shell Smash Amistar. One of the things I loved about trying out this Pokemon is because not a lot of people... I mean, this is a very gimmicky set. I don't think most people are going to predict this setup here. So our opponent actually just straight up quits the match after that. But okay, so we're going to jump into this next battle here. Um, I am so bad at saying the names of the, some of the Ultra Beasts. Neil Ego? Nihilgo? Nihil... 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 Ego? Nihil... Ego? Anyways, we're not going to get into that. Um, we had a feeling we would see that, but this is again a really good scenario. Um. I had a feeling Suikun was going to set up Tailwind, but I wasn't really scared. The one thing I was worried is, would this Nihil, Nihil Ego try to D-Max and Max Guard? But then I also thought, there's no way they're expecting a D-Max Amistar right now. Especially one that's going to outspeed everything on their team. So, we're just going to target Nihil... Ego? <laughs> Nihil Ego. N Nihil Ego. Gosh, I need to practice saying that. Anyways, so we completely one-shot that creature thing. And we see the Tailwind from Suicune. Pretty good turn for us. Um, we see Zapdos come in. But honestly, I'm not really worried. I'm going to actually... I think I go for Max Guard here, and I'm going to switch out to Clefairy. Um, I think what I was thinking is, if they target my Amistar, this will give us a safe switch for Clefairy, and then we can just follow me the next turn and get a Max Rockfall secured on this Zapdos. So yeah, um, by the way guys, if you like this type of video, I know um, I'm trying out some different formats. As you can tell, this footage is all from my stream on Twitch, but I wanted to do kind of like a post-commentary 
and speed up because I want to show a bunch of different matches here trying out this little gimmick. So, okay. Suicune ends up using Helping Hand, which honestly is kind of a weird play. But um, I think the Max Airstream, I'm not 100% sure if it's a guaranteed knockout on Clefairy, but I don't think they needed to do that. But again, Suicune probably isn't going to be offering much in this battle, to be fair. We go for the Max Rockfall, we completely one shot Zapdos, and now we have Sand on the field. Which will help kind of like do some chunk I mean do a little bit of chip damage here on Suicune, which really realistically doesn't matter. Um the hail would have been nice here in case this um Kartana was a sash. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually protect I think I protect with Amistar, expecting the Leaf Blade from Kartana. And I'm going to sh throw a Shadow Ball at Kartana. But I, I also might just double down. I can't remember exactly what I do. I think I'm checking to see Tailwind. Oh yeah, I, there's one turn of Tailwind left, I realize. So I do end up... Um, I think I went for Protect. And I actually used a Shadow Ball on the Suicune. Oh wait, I remember why I did this. I figured we could actually get rid of this Suicune before they set up another Tailwind. And at that point, we should be game. <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah, because on this turn, Amstar is going to be able to outspeed. And I'm going to go for Ancient Power on Suicune. And I think I'm going to double down into Suicune and Shadow Ball with Spectrier. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this will knock out Suicune, meaning they can't get off their Tailwind. And... Artana, I think, Leaf Blades Amistar on this turn, but pretty sure we are in a... Oh, okay, so we have, I think, the Rotom here in the back line, and it's pretty much our game, but there's always the situation where we miss Overheat. So I guess if we really want to play this safe, we could have um, Thunderbolt, but you know, it was it was kind of hard to tell um, what the like if this was a salt vest that could have been a terrible play. But fortunately for us, um, we are able to connect overheat, and we end up securing the win here. That was a good game. Okay, so the cool thing. Okay, this is I wanted to show this because this opponent has no idea what is coming their way like here you this was pretty obvious to me that they were going to dmax or gmax or whatever colossal and go for surf on dragapult um it's kind of interesting too because i think i i think the weird the thing that really just flipped this match is this wasn't a Speed invest. There was like not really max speed invested in this Dragapult. I think I end up outspeeding Dragapult with Spectrier, which in turn means that I'm going to trigger off Amistar's um, weak armor and I can outspeed and then knock out Colossal before Surf even gets used. It's pretty crazy. We weren't, I wasn't 100% sure what the best i figured this is probably our best option in the situation but again this could have been a max guard on colossal but I, I, how many people are gonna expect this setup i mean maybe more people just because i'm making a video who knows how many people see this but this has just been a fun kind of spicy team to play that actually can do some work so as you saw there we end up completely one-shotting colossal here and then we're going to see the surf. If you look at me, I'm just like, oh yeah. So we, get, we can take that surf, even in the rain. In comes Kartana. So we pretty much took down their D-Max in the first turn. And now we're in a pretty good position. I'm going to go and use Max Hellstorm on Kartana. That way, if it is Sash, at the end of the turn, at least we can knock it out. But as you can see, they're not even Sash. So we end up one-shotting 
the Kartana, and then we see the Sash here on Dragapult, which makes a lot of sense because it is a support set. But the irony is it goes for the Phantom move, and the Hail at the end of the turn kills it. So we're pretty much steamwalling this person with Amistar and Spectrier lead. Definitely, even Spectrier can be considered a spicy pick in VGC. But definitely, I would say it's one of the heart, the cores of this team is even if we don't run Amistar gimmick with our team setup, we can always do something like Clefairy, Spectrier, or um, just try to get like a lot of defense drops on our opponent with Max Phantasm, and then bring in Urshifu for some cleanup. So I wanted to show this last battle. Um, Played this a little different. So my per my opponent was running a sand team, and I guess my thought process was lead landers, have Clefairy, and I guess keep Amistar in the back for whatever reason. I uh, I was kind of not entirely sure. It's been a while since I've seen line up like this, but um, yeah, it's not uncommon. It's just it's been a minute. So I'm actually going to use Rock Slide and Dazzling Gleam. I am running Dazzling Gleam on my Clefairy. And they end up insta-swapping into Excadrill. And honestly, this could have been really bad if they didn't switch because we could have just procced Tyranitar's weakness policy and just got wrecked. But them switching out to Excadrill almost worked in our favor more than hindering us because if that was a Sash... Excad Excadrill really break the sash. And I think what I end up doing here is I'm gonna switch out Landorus into Amistar, and we're kind of just gonna sacrifice Amistar. I figured maybe Amistar isn't gonna offer much this match. And if it does use max steel spike on like targeted towards a Landorus, we should be able to live a max steel spike and then get the weak armor boost. So we use protect with Clefairy. The Excadrill uses Swords Dance, and this is really scary right now. I mean, we can only assume this is a Sand Rush Excadrill. And all right, so we can tank that move with Clefairy because we use Protect. Um, kind of a nice combo, Protect and Follow Me. If your opponent is assuming you're going to follow me, this time. I am going to, I decide, I'm checking the Tailwind, and I'm like, all right, um, I guess follow me Hydro Pump on Excadrill, because Excadrill's probably going to target, I mean, it's probably going to use a singular move, in which we do get uh, Clefairy knocked out. That's fine, because we're going to be able to live this Max Steel Spike from Metagross, which in turn does give us a little bit of a speed boost. But the real thing here is, can I connect a Hydro Pump? This is 80% accurate, and fortunately we do land it, and that is going to knock out Excadrill. So it takes a pretty big threat away, and we do have Urshifu, which is already going to line up pretty good against the back line. So here, um, I think I decide to protect with both of my Pokemon. I'm going to double protect because I think there's one more turn of Tailwind. Okay, we do see Protect on Tyranitar as well, which I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe they thought we were Scarfed or something with Urshifu. But yeah, they, they definitely outsped us. So the Tailwind's over now. And we have Metagross, which is not going to like a Wicked Blow. I'm going to Hydro Pump Tyranitar. Oh, wait, I think I doubled down on Metagross here, actually, because we need to guarantee the knockout. So I'm going to Hydro. Yeah, I think I just double target Metagross. We're in a pretty good position because we still have the Landers in the back line. Yeah, so this, the, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of torn on the usage of Focus Sash versus Choice and for Urshifu, mainly because Protect is pretty nice in a lot of these situations we've been in. But also, maybe the extra damage is all we really need to flip some of these matches. 
Okay, so the sand subsides and we're just going to bring in Landorus. And I think what we end up doing is we protect with Ammonite and we just go for an EQ. And that is the guaranteed win here. We don't even have to Dynamax. Um, yeah, we just, we just saved it. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, please consider subscribing, liking, disliking, leave a comment what you like the most about the team, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Sasquatch is getting stronger each and every day. You guys have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in, and I'll see you guys.